How are you guys? We're okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to everyone. Yes. Uh, good morning to everybody watching on the live stream. We have a very special guest, the Dorothy Ferreria. And uh, <laughs> I know a lot of the food industry knows uh, the legend. And we're here to get to know her, how she got started, and maybe the all the lessons uh, along the way and advice for the young um, food uh, professionals no, uh, in this industry. It's kind of interesting what happened during the pandemic also. So, pakibalita tayo what happened. Um, so, my name is Anton, Di uh, Anton Diaz, founder of Our Awesome Planet, together with the Nancy Reyes Lumen, known as the Adobo Queen. We're awesome live with uh, Dorothy, Dorothy. Ferreria. <laughs> it's nice to be here. Yes. Uh, uh, can you... All right, all right, let's uh, get it started. So, uh, to kick off our discussion, maybe you can uh, share with us how you got started years ago uh, in in your uh, culinary journey. And, and uh, wait, Dorothy, before yeah. anything, I want to know why you were named Dorothy. It's really because of the yellow brick road? <laughs> no, I was named Dorothy because my godmother, my gra godmother's name is Dorothy. But my second name is Mercedita because my mom is Mercedes. And I am the youngest. So they just combined the two names. That's why I'm named Dorothy Mercedita. Okay. Nice to know. Okay. Then maybe you can tell us your story. How, how you got started, how young you were, your culinary uh, DNA uh, from your parents or your grandparents and all that. We are all very interested. Plus your former students who have mentioned you. And who are thankful to you okay let's hear it dorothy okay um my first cooking class was at the age of 10 and oh. it was under margie jacinto who used to live in new manila she gathered a lot of new manila kids and um i i was just 10 and we were doing everything hands-on but since i was the youngest alam mo hindi pinapansin Yung, she was giving more attention to the older ones. Uh -huh. And then when we were, we were doing um, a pasta sauce, syempre, akala niya, wala pa akong alam. So she gave me the easiest task, grate the cheese. And since she wasn't making me pansin, you know, I ate half of the cheese. <laughs> and then when it was time to give the cheese, Sanya, what happened to the cheese? I said, teacher, you didn't want me to help. That's why I ate the cheese. So Buhatmon, she was giving me more tasks, like something as simple as please hold the bowl, blah, blah. At baka mamaya ko ano pang makain ko doon, no? Wala nang magagamit. <laughs> but I always kept that in mind. So whenever I have my children's class, I make sure that the kids feel safe and they're happy with me. So I try to make it a game. Para masaya sila. But that's for the children's class. It's different with the older ones. Okay. And then from then on, um, my mom, knowing that I'm so paki ilamera in the kitchen, you know, I would fry the palitao, color the leche flag blue, green. And then she would say, alam mo anak, Ang sarap sarap, but that's not the way to do it. You want to learn more? I'll enroll you in more cooking classes. So it was really uh, an important role that my mom had in my life. Kasi nakita na niya at an early age that I was very interested in kitchen things. And then she would give me responsibilities like make a menu, make a grocery list. So for me, it was something I grew up with, something she was training me 
she was training me for that. Um, and then after that, uh, I think I mentioned I took up a because I really wanted to be a doctor. But oh. my mom said, Alam mo anak, matanda na ako. Baka hindi kita makitang magtapos ng medicine. Can you please shift to something uh, mas maigse? So I can see you graduate. So the easiest course in Ateneo that time was communication. Uh -huh. Easiest because pwede ko pa-credit all my other subjects and still graduate on time. So I finished um, AB Communication Arts. And then I worked as a, as an advertising and PR assistant. But you know, at that stage of my life, I was already 20. You do it because it's a responsibility. First year, happy ka kasi first uh, newsletter. Right, first whatever. On my second year, it was like, yana naman. Yung parang nagsawa ako. So I talked to my boss and I said, I have to resign because my heart is not into it. Mm -hmm. So my mom asked me, what do you want to do? So I said, I'd like to study um, more about cooking, baking, cake decorating. So she sent me to schools here, there, everywhere. nag ako, Silvia Reynoso, Boledo. Um, and then she sent me to, went to Wilton School. Where? So I was happy. Wilton School in oh, Wilton. Oh, yeah. Decorating. So I was very, very happy. Parang I already found what I wanted to do. So when I flew back home, I was already um, accepting. Introduced me to a big, big shop. Sabi niya, pwede ka maging supplier dito. That was way back, I think, 1984. Ilan pa lang ang may alam. It's so easy to do chocolate lollipops. You melt the chocolate, and that's it. So I was supplying a big shop. But of course, ilan lang kasi may alam niyan. And um, it was a relatively new product in the bake shops. So, needing to help my product. So, what does that mean? After delivery, I would go to this bake shop and buy some of my products. And then I would make sure that my voice is not loud. Canties. Gawa nyo. Maldita ko, no? Say ko, gawa nyo. Ay hindi, uwi namin ng, uwi yan ang boss namin galing Amerika. Wow, okay. Then I opened it and then I ate one on the spot. You know, it's so good. Sinabi ko dun sa katabi ko na customer, alam nyo po, ang sarap. And then I left. And I did that three or four the first day. Because I felt that I needed to help my product. But you know, it worked. Ah. Ang dami, yeah. ang lakas nun. Ang daming bumibig ng chocolate lollipops. And then after that, um, I saw an ad in the newspapers. Ganun naman ang mga cookies ng araw. Mm -hmm. Bulletin. And then I saw this ad of uh, Maya Kitchen. It was then headed by Rory Subida. Yeah. And then I called. Sabi ko, would you be interested in my second-hand chocolate molds? I have new ones. Nagtaka siya. Sino ba to? Bakit ganon kalakas ang dating? No? So we talked on the phone. And then he told me, um, he told me that You know, when you're in your, like, a go, 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 as in, you don't care kung sino yung kaharap mo. Hindi ko alam, head na ng test kitchen, no? So I went. And then she said, I want you to teach here in our kitchen. Tita Rory, I don't have any experience in teaching. 
I can produce. Kasi di ba, ibang skill yung pag-impart ng ng ano eh, ng baking or cake decorating. Just wanna try you for one session. So, you know what happened? Every three weeks, may klase ako doon. And then, ang sweldo ko lang yata was like 20 pesos for every student na pumasok. Okay. <laughs> Tuition at that time was like, I think, less than 100 pesos. Uh -huh. So, you know, when I was doing my computations, I was telling myself, gosh, mas malaki ang kita pag naturo kaysa magkudu. <laughs> so after two years, I talked to Tita Rory and told her, thank you for discovering me. Thank you for inviting me to teach. And it opened my eyes that I can, I can teach. But it has come to the stage wherein I think I should already open my own. Siyempre nalungkot siya. But, you know, for me kasi, uh, you have to make paalam nicely. Kasi ang liit lang ng industry natin eh. Di ba, Nancy? Konti lang yeah. tayo eh. So, uh, especially at the time ah, when I was teaching, a handful lang kami na nagtuturo. Uh -huh. Unlike now, you have a lot of teachers. Noon kasi konti lang. So I'm really very grateful to Tita Rory Subida for discovering me. Shout out to her. I don't know if she is able to watch, but if you're watching Tita Rory, hello. I know that she has already already retired from the Maya Kitchens because I think she's already 70 plus. Yeah, I think that right. more yeah. or less. Yeah, yeah. Anton, and there are several people greeting her already. Oh, nga, uh, <laughs> let's acknowledge them, Muna. Rechi, yeah. uh, Rechi Dasa. Good morning, Chef. Uh, Abby, Abby Di Chavez. Good morning, uh -oh. Chef Dorothy. Melanie Chua. Good morning. Uh, looking good, Dorothy from Maricar Fernandez. And with the low classes, oh. mga suki ko yan. Yeah. And they've been my students since 1988, ha? I have wow. students na up to now, they attend yeah, because madam. they want to relax. Yeah. Now there's also Norma Chikyampo. Too much jump for them. Let's yeah. put it that way. Hi. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so from Maya Kitchen to Dorothy's Kitchen. Uh, yes. Dorothy's um, Kitchen. Um, Dorothy's Kitchen. Yeah. Uh, Dorothy's Cooking School opened its doors in 1990 in our home in New Manila. We converted a certain portion of the house into an air-conditioned classroom complete with a mirror and all the equipment. Like when I was with Maya, it was just baking and cake decorating. But uh, when I opened my own, it had to be baking, cooking, and cake decorating. Because I need complete naman yung offer mo, di ba? Yep. Mm -hmm. It. I I was able to meet a lot of people. Um, yeah, and si Jackie Ang po uh, enrolled in my classes when she was a teenager. And there are still more, like Dennis Hippolito. Some, oh, Hi. Yes. And then see si Chockful of Nuts, Mrs. Uh, Pineda wow. of Chockful of Nuts, one of the established bake shops in uh green hills yeah. this was during the uh 70s binuksan na yung big shop niya eh. and um sino pa ba? i had a sprinkling of artistas like alice dixon mm. uh, anna roses etc yeah. etc et marami sila actually hindi ko na matandaan sa dami pero marami oh, remember you pero, naman eh for the days wherein I would have 40, 40, 50 students at a time. Um, kasi during that time, uh, yun yung ano eh, libangan ng mga taong mahilig magluto. They attend. And they... Um, it's very exciting because midway, I got a call from FD Ventures. They wanted me to join 
their program, Lasang Pinoy at Iba Pa. And it was hosted by C.B. Garuch. Mm, yeah. Remember that show? That was like 1995, 1996, I think, um, with the great Doreen Fernandez towards the end of the show restaurant review. So I was asked to do the demos because they had sponsors for Nestle. So lahat yata ng klaseng leche flan nagawa ko kasi carnation wrap portion, carnation condensed portion. And then I also did a lot of recipes for core butter with wow. San Miguel food group. Um, magnolia cream cheese, quick melt cheese, etc., etc. Um, it was fun. Kasi alam mo, pag ganong mga TV show, we were taped. My OC ness more. Kasi <laughs> sa industriya, kilala ako as OC. Eh. Some people love my being OC. Some people hate my being OC. But you know, it's the key to this to be different, to be effective. Um, and I always tell my students, you know, just remember everything. It's a movie in your mind. So if you're going to, let's say, uh, spaghetti, you have to make a list already of all the things that you need, ingredients and equipment and kitchen tools. Kasi you cannot be like in the middle of sauteing. Ay, sandali, kukunin ko yung sandok. Ay, sandali, yung ganon. So it actually sharpened my pagka-OC. And um, writing-wise, ayan na, ang dami na. May offers after Doreen Fernandez passed away. Because she used to write for the Inquirer. She used to write for Food Magazine. I got offers to join both Food Magazine and um, Inquirer. So uh -huh. I did that for a couple of years. So, you know, when you're into this field, it's not just teaching. Ano na yan? Try media. You have TV, you have the writing aspect, etc., etc. It's fun. But, uh -huh. you know, some people just think it's glamorous. It's not. It's a lot of hard work din naman. Diba? Nancy, yeah. you should know that, diba? I mean, hindi yeah. ganun kadali yun. Akala lang nila ang dali-dali. Pero, no, it takes a lot of planning and a lot of osiness. Mm -hmm. Diba? Yep. Oo. So, right now, I've um, slowed down a bit. Kasi dati, uh, classes, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, in New Manila, with two sessions every Saturday, morning and afternoon session. But you know, you're in your 20s, so you still have a lot of energy. Kayang kaya yon, di ba? Walang problema. Or sometimes with corporate shows, I would do shows for Nestle. Fly in, fly out yon, ha? Fly in first, out of Manila first. Do the show and then last flight back to Manila. Kape lang ang katapat, pero ngayon hindi na. Um, <laughs> hindi ko na kaya yung ganong klaseng stress. Kailangan, I am the day. Hindi na yung ganong super go, go, go. But I'm still able to do it. Kaya lang, mas slower ang pace. Um, exciting. So you're still teaching, yeah. Ruthie. You're still, you, you haven't stopped teaching. Nancy, parang hindi ko masyado narinig yung question mo. You have not stopped teaching. You still have classes. Yes. In a way, I have not stopped. Kasi now, mas iba ang format, no? Before, right before the pandemic, I would do small classes here in my studio. Tapos na ako doon 50 students at a time. Now, I just accommodate at most eight. That's manageable for me. That's why I'm expensive. Kasi syempre, mas konti na sila. Diba? And then, during the pandemic, hindi na pwede yung face-to-face. So, Videos. Like, other schools would do it via Zoom. 
which is kind of difficult because my studio is in a condo. So the early part of the pandemic, diba? No for the building, kami kami lang. So I was doing videos uh, with a very small group. Um, kasi pag magbenta ka na lang ng video, they Breaking. Unlike if it's it's like attending a class, you have to be present while it's ongoing and all that, the ba. Yeah. So I'm more comfortable doing the videos, and then um, uh, my market at sa hindi lang dito or within the Philippines. I also have a certain of students from abroad, but basically Filipino. looking for me. And then, syempre, iba na ang takbo ng panahon na yon. Natuto ako mag-YouTube. So, although the past few months, wala akong linalabas, pero pinasukan ko din yon Because, you know, so, you know, try ng try ko ano yung mga uso. So, I do that. Um, Pero ngayon, I had to stop kasi napagod na rin ako. Pero eventually, uh... Hello? Nawala kayo? Hello? No, you're, you're breaking. Uh, your internet is... Hello? Baka... I, I can't hear you. Yes. Yeah, your internet is uh, a bit choppy on your side. Baka... You can do something. Yeah. But, uh, uh, and, baka it's the signal. Yeah, it's a signal. Or maybe somebody's using there. Or maybe check it out. Um, uh, I will acknowledge muna yung mga nag-comment. The cell phone is on. Do you want to turn it off? Which one? Pagaw ng signal. Uh-oh, okay, yeah, baka yeah. off. Turn it off. Uh-oh. Yeah. Ano lang? Para lang. So, we'll acknowledge Ayan. na Gina Mata. Ah, sige. Uh, uh, meron ba si Gina Mata said uh, I was one yeah, of her students. Yeah, this is student. better. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. One of her students when I was an awkward preteen in the 90s. Now, I'm 42. Uh, and then, Melissa Yao <laughs> said Nice seeing you, Chef Dorothy. And then, of course, Jillian. Uh, Jillian... Uh, Rese said, good morning, yes, Chef yes. Dorothy. Thanks for being my second teacher next to my mom. All right. That's the daughter of Maricar. Ah, yes. Right, right, right. I remember, yeah, they attended some of my baking classes before. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, um, when I bump into them in the grocery, they just smile, I just smile back, and then I look at my assistant, saying ko, naalala mo kung sino yun? Kasi hindi ko maalala. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Chef, kasi um, papasabihin, oh, she doesn't remember me. Oh, Chef, um, yes. before we continue, uh, the Ferreria is from which, or what's the roots of the Ferreria? Or your parents? Okay. Or your da- Pag- family? Ilan lang kami. Um, my grandfather is from Pangasinan, uh-huh. San Fabian, Pangasinan, but he brought his wife and the kids to Divisoria, so they set up a trading firm along Claved Street. They were trading rice, corn, sugar, mongo, etc., etc. But in the States, it's so hard for them to say Ferreria, so a lot of my aunts in the U.S., ang tawag sa kanila, ang pagpronounce ng Ferreria ay Ferreria. Because it's easier for them. Pero pag dito sa Pilipinas, it's Ferreria. Mm, nice. Okay. Um, yeah, and then uh, let's continue. So, yes. uh, so, you, uh, so right now, you continue, you were saying a while ago na you're still doing it, selling the videos and YouTube, di ba? During the, uh, during Are you? The can you hear us? Oh yeah, now I can hear you, Nancy. Okay. Continue. You were saying. 
um, the, uh, uh, about the doing the exclusive videos. But uh, yeah. I was going to ask you, uh, uh, there's so, in the universe, there are so yes. many, 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 millions of videos. What makes yours unique and worthy of 1,000 pesos? You, what are the guys, what, what makes it like that? Um, I wasn't able to hear your question well. Nagputol-putol kasi may dumana ambulansya. Kaya paminsan-minsan may ambulansya na rinig. What was your question again? Um, how, what, what, are, what are the guidelines of making a good video like what you're selling at 1,000 pesos? Wait, my, what makes my video different? Number one, yes. it's step by step. So it's like me beside you teaching you how to cook. And then when you purchase our video, which we send via Gmail, they also receive a handout. So they have a recipe handout so that they can follow when they want to do it in their own kitchens. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, we have promos from time to time. Like uh, recently, we did a parmesan fish and a pasta sauce. The first six who would sign up would get a free sample. So, padadala ko yon via Lala Move. So, it's like attending a class. Nice. They just play the video, they read the handout, and then they get to taste. And then they can also ask me questions. Kasi hindi siya interactive like Zoom. So yes. um, they can ask me questions via private message. Uh, so nandun pa rin yung um, communication presence. Uh -uh. and presence. Yes. I answer all of their questions. And sometimes if it's a matter of life and death, minsan tawag nga eh. Pero I don't mind. For me, the important thing is I know they're not just collecting the recipes. They are doing the recipes. Good. You know, sometimes nakakatuwa because they would send me photos. Oh, ito yung lumabas oh, via private message. No? Ito yung lumabas. Tama ba? Tama ba? So you're guiding them also um, after selling the video. So I do that. And it's very fulfilling. Um, it's just a different level now because it reminds me of my... Um, Lasang Pinoy days. Kasi mm -hmm. noon wala pang internet. So CB and I would announce to the viewers, TV pa nun eh, diba? uh, To send a self-addressed stamped envelope. We limit one <laughs> recipe per envelope. My gosh, you know I have ayaya, walang ginagawa. Kung hindi, kukunin lahat ng mail. I arrange lahat ng envelopes, isulat sa likod ng envelope ano yung recipe na gusto. And then we would count, and then my driver is asked to Xerox. And then I would sign na each and each um, Xerox copy of the recipe, and then we would mail it to them. E ngayon, hindi na uso yung ganon. Puro ano na. Puro um, internet na, di ba? Yeah. Go to the website or you can buy the video. Ibang level na, but, you know, it's very fulfilling. It all boils down to connecting with your viewers and then making them feel that they can do the recipes. Because um, when you create recipes, it's very tricky. Sometimes you want to do recipes that will satisfy your own ego. But yeah. when you get comments like, Oy, nagawa ko siya. Oy, my husband liked it. It gives you a good feeling. It, um, parang it tells you that, hey, you're effective. So it drives you to do more. Diba? It encourages you to think of more recipes that are very easy to do in a home kitchen. Kasi karami naman ang students ko, home buddies eh. They cook and bake for their own families and some of them love to entertain. They hold parties. Like now, di ba ang uso, Zoom party. So, ganun na ang ginagawa nila. They would cook and then send to their friends and then they have a Zoom party. And then they send me feedback. And 
it gives me a good feeling. It makes me feel good that I am still relevant despite my age. All right. Uh, chef, there. um, question. Um, what's there? Uh, what's uh trending in terms of the type of recipes that people are interested to learn over the years? Because I'm uh, about thirty years. Can I nagtuturo, do Thirty-two years. Um, oh, is there something? <laughs> long, huh? Is there? <laughs> What's trending in the recipes that uh, people want to learn? Easy to do. Like, um, they love recipes that are baked, like pasta or marinate beef or chicken, and then you pop it in the oven. They love that. Ayon nila yung sobrang busise. But once in a while, I do introduce yung mga mabutising recipes because there are some who want to be challenged. They want, they feel good after doing a very laborious recipe. So it's like, uh, titimplahin mo rin eh, kung ano yung gusto nila. Pagdating sa baking, I notice the trend now, they like it less sweet. Yeah. Um, and then some would go for sugar-free. But I am diabetic. I don't go for sugar-free. I still take real sugar, but I limit my intake. So instead of taking a whole slice of cake, or oh, half na lang, and then I skip my rice, and then I skip my my carbs, etc. Pumapasa pa rin naman ako eh, sa blood cake ko. So, di ba? At saka, life is short. You cannot be too mabait and too masunurin sa doktor. Di ba? Life is short. I mean, just don't abuse it. Eat what you like. Um, but everything in moderation or if you want to abuse sunod na araw eh magpakabait ka naman yeah. diba <laughs> oy tumatawa si man si guilty ka ba very 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 guilty <laughs> Pero, uh, you know what dorothy i now know yeah. why your students love you why Because you're very real oh nga hindi ka yung hindi ka yung maarte na hindi you know it, But Actually, you know, to na be alangan ako. Is, huh? Na alangan ako when people still call me chef. Because for me, calling me Dorothy is good enough. Oh, Dorothy, diba? Dorothy, <laughs> chef. Because it's just like used by so many people because it's the end thing. But I'm more comfortable being called just Dorothy. That's why some of my students call me Miss Doors or Dorothy, Miss Dorothy. But um, if I'm doing corporate jobs, then they call me chef. Then I don't have a choice because I know it is a sign of respect. Yeah. But really, as much as possible, ayoko nang chef. Dorothy lang, pwede na sa akin. Okay. Okay. Um... Let's uh, go through the photos, but before that, we'll acknowledge Galzim Madamba said, Miss your school in New Manila. Very homey and conducive to relax learning. So uh, really a lot of people uh, appreciate that. So we'll go to the photos. No? Uh, this is the first photo. For you to caption, tell us the story of this photo. Video class. Video class. Um, ano yan? Yung mga cover ng video class ko. No. So okay. as you can see, it's a video class. Um, konta lang yung shots ko, yung sarili ko, because twist ups of the procedures for them to really follow the recipe. So mga ano ko yan, mga pang video class. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay, what's this? Oh, food magazine. I owe a lot to Miss Chikyanko for giving me the break to write for the food magazine at that time, which, which was food magazine. And I stayed with her until she retired. Um, the, what you see in the cover is the first recipe that I did for them that was 19 tralala. <laughs> Yan yung mga usong styling ng araw. Diba? Pero ngayon. Yeah. Anong cake yan? What cake is that? 
you remember if i'm too? not mistaken it's a basic chiffon with coffee crunch all over and then with some fresh strawberries nice uh, very nice. nice yeah oh, very nice okay next oh nestle um for a few years i was with nestle as a pastry chef consultant um you're on call you're always on call um sometimes they ask you to fly uh to do demos um for their prime client in the um, in the provinces or you're asked to do demos in um, big venues that is open to the public. So I worked here with San Diego. I enjoy the break time. Um, wala kami ginawa kung hindi kumain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next. Okay, I can't see this well. This is oh, in our kitchen. This is for one of the prime um, Nestle customers. I would give workshops. Like if they have a new product, like if I'm not mistaken, for this photo, we were promoting the cello. It was, it does not exist anymore, but it was an instant mousse, an instant custard that easier especially if they're doing everything in bulk so we were giving them recipes and sharing techniques that they can use with their setup mm -hmm. okay okay this photo let me see Wale, ah, hindi ko masyado makita nestle din to yeah, you're all in chef uniform. Nestle sa akin. Marami akong trabaho na gawa for me. Okay, this one. <laughs> oh, children's class. Kasi in... nung araw ha, magbigay ng children's class. Ngayon, I'm not sure if I still have the patience for kids. Siyempre, when you're older, your patience is shorter. But, you know, it's funny, like, when I used to attend shows of World Trade Center, you know, I learned how to cook and bake when I was a little girl in your school. Siyempre, ang feeling mo, parang, oh my gosh, ang lalaki na nila. Pero, <laughs> Ang sarap ng feeling because they remember you. And that is a good sign that meant you were effective as a teacher. You yep. influence them, di ba? Yes. So, it gives you a good feeling. Itong mga to, malamang may mga asawa at anak na itong mga to. Like Jackie, di ba? Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, na, nawala si Isha. Ayan na. Okay, you're back. You're back. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, so we'll continue with the photos. No? Uh, pero we'll acknowledge lang the people commenting uh, before. We love you, Chef. Uh, from Pio. Beng Pineda Bongko. And uh, Chichi Sevilla said, uh, Good morning po, Chef uh, Dorothy Ferreria. Learning a lot from you. Oh, mga suki ko yan. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll continue with the photos. I'm sharing my culinary journey with all of you. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, I think much. This one, this one. Okay. My dad used for a compressor factory in Bangkok. So, every time he would say, you know, I have to fly to Bangkok. And since ako naman ang may-ari ng cooking school ko, no? So, tatanungin ko, When? Okay, but black of sama ako. So I would take short courses at the UFM school and I learned how to cook Thai food because of those trips. Pero ang hirap lang kasi, hirap sila mag converse in English. Yeah. 
So, but it was easy because it was one-on-one. Mahal, pero pag uwi mo, dami mong dalang pagkain. Ano siya? Um, very interesting because you get to explore their cuisine. You get... Leche flan, cochita, etc., etc. It widened. It widened my knowledge about food. So whenever my dad would have to travel, I would tag along and take that opportunity to learn from a cooking school in that country. Do you still go out uh, to learn more from other schools or other places? Yes. We do. Marami. Hong Kong, Bangkok, uh, US. Kasi sayang naman yung opportunity, di ba? Uh, oh, eh. So, I get okay. to have, to enroll in some classes. In Bangkok, the way they do it, um, they show me a clear book of photos. Then all I have to do is point, 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 alin ang gusto ko. And then they quote, and then we agree. And then we do it. We show up, and then I do it with the teacher. That's I would encourage that with those who who would like to learn more. One on one, eh? uh -huh. because um, it's more intimate. You get to learn more versus being in a class with a lot of students. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, this is What's the last photo. Trophy? This There's is the trophy. trophy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a trophy, right? Okay, I met you in this event, Nancy. Yeah. Uh, this was an on-the-spot cake decorating contest. It's a folk arts theater in the eighties. Um, <laughs> tatlo lang tayo nun, uh, Century Park. Kayo aristocrat at ako. And why did I submit this photo? I won third place, and I'm proud of that. Because when you're very young, you grab every opportunity. Walang takot, go, go, go lang, di ba? Yes. And I didn't care if let hindi ako bigyan ng prize. I was there for the experience. I was there for the experience. And I'm very happy that they still gave me. Okay. It's one of uh, treasured treasured trophies because it sort of reinforced in me that tama yung ginagawa ko tama yung tinatahak kong direction which is food because remember I really want it, diba? and um, at least when I won that parang sinasabi sa akin ng Diyos na hindi tama tama continue ka lang continue ka lang ganyan <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll uh, acknowledge the maraming mga... Tsaka grabe, ang bata ko pa noon. I was like 20 something. I was just wearing jeans and t-shirt and then I was just doing my own thing. And I remember uh, one of the judges, the owner of Rolling Pin, uh, Rolling Pin wow. Big Shop. Yeah, the they mother of my girl. Alam mo mo? Ah, okay. Sabi niya sa akin... Alam mo, iha, maganda yung concept mo eh. Ang problema, ang lit ng tools na dala mo. Eh kasi, syempre, bagito, hindi ko alam na dapat. <laughs> oh, oh. And... These are learning experiences. We cannot yeah. be top one right away. Diba? Building blocks yan eh. And I'm very, yeah. very happy that I met the right people. They were the ones giving me the strength and the inspiration to go on. Okay. Um, I think we'll Nancy won dun sa ano na yun. You had your ikaw nanalo, decorator Nancy? with you. Oh, ikaw ba nanalo nun? I don't remember. Don't remember. <laughs> I'm 100 years old, remember? I cannot remember. <laughs> Wait, uh, Ayan, so Gina, ang, dami pang, ang dami mong oh, fans and you know, oh, the people Mata. who are commenting, I know some of them. Jeannie, Ria, Omar. Oh, 
Yeah. Ria, uh, look to send. Uh, I'm a big <laughs> fan of Chef Dorothy. Uh, and then uh, Pleda Santiago said, ha- hello po, Chef Dorothy. And um, Norma said, Dorothy, you should mention your fabulous Linda cake with those lovely butter icing flowers. Ano nga? Uh, what's a Linda cake? Linda cake. Alam mo, hindi ko talaga um, sinama sa photos yon Because the Linda cake was named after my best friend. And she passed away like one and a half years ago. Linda who? I don't do the Linda cake anymore because every time I do that, parang naaalala ko siya. She's the owner of Dulce Lynn, Mrs. Linda Morelos. That's why it was called Linda uh, Cake. That was the name of my mom. But, you know, just to uh, give an idea what the Linda Cake is all about, I did a demo for Cake Boss. And on the spot, we decided to do one birthday cake. And then, punong puno yun ng roses sa top. Tapos pinaraffle ko na lang. Sabi ko, iparaffle na lang. And then nagkataon, the, the following week was the birthday of my best friend. Sabi ko, you want that cake? I'll, I'll um, make the design again for you. She liked it. So, uh, ginawa kong pag- the caramel filling in the center and then boiled icing or marshmallow icing, kung gusto mo magpaka social, but it's actually boiled icing. And then what I do is I pipe out a lot of roses on top, but I don't make them all standing up. Some are tilted, so very playful. I check up pastel, but you know, I learned, um, I have of clients. I have a lot of clients who want it in Valentine bread, lalo na yung mga Chinese clients ko. So, I'm able to execute that design also in what I call super red or lipstick red Linda cake. Pero ngayon, bihirang-bihira ako na gawin kasi, you know, it still breaks my heart whenever I see a Linda cake. Because Linda was like my second mom. Kasi my mom died, what, 1987. And Linda, my best friend, I'm sure, Nancy, you can relate. Ang hirap mag-discuss kasi hindi mo baka gayahin or agawin yung concept. Uh, you know, even if we were competitors in a way because they were also selling food, yung you're just comfortable with her? Yung ganon? And she's also very comfortable with me? So we were always exchanging ideas. Like sometimes, alam mo naman ang baking, it's like um, it's an assembly, di ba? Because sometimes sa gabi mag-iisip ka, anong cake ang magawa? Ah, I want chiffon. Anong flavor? Anong filling? Anong icing? Anong design? We talk that way almost every day, three or four times a day, we discuss cake concepts. Pero walang, walang inggitan, walang agawa ng concept. Yung ganon, ang sarap na my friend kang ganon. Yes. I'm like, you know, 20 years older than me. But, you know, we get along, huh? So, hindi necessarily ka-age mo. You just have to have the same wavelength. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Oo yeah. nga, masarap yan. The Dulcelin, no? The Dulcelin. Ang yeah. kilala namin dyan, sila Ricky, yung mga anak na. Oo. Yeah. And I'm glad that the kids um, are still doing her recipes. They're continuing the business. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, hello to Jeannie Mata. She, she, ano. Ay, ay, isa pa yan. Estudyante ko yan since she was 10. Yeah. Nakaports pa yan. Uh, hatid sundo ng magulang. She would attend my classes too. And then, nainggit yung ma... Grabe, no? 10 years old. And then now, she's like, I think, in her 30s or 40s. Um, ang tatanda na natin pero you know it's fun when you get to see them and you've seen how they've blossomed in their respective careers nakakatuwa kasi parang anak-anakan mo na sila lahat eh yeah. I don't know if you get that same feeling Nancy we all do but you know Dorothy 
if I may suggest... Diba, marami sa industriya, mga anak-anak mo rin. Yeah. Dorothy, I I would really like you yes. to revive your Linda cake. Make it a tribute because oh. it's so unique of you. And now that I'm thinking about it, I, I want to order one. You should give one to Anton. <laughs> Well, if you're based in Metro Manila, we'll make one for you and send it to you. Si Anton. Ang problema na sa America ka, Nancy. America ka, Nancy. No, give it to Anton. <laughs> si Anton, kung nandito sa Metro Manila, igagawa ko siya. Yep. Oh, wow, okay. nice. Okay, um, very inspiring um, conversation. Um, it's very, it's an honor to have you you know, to get to know you deeper uh, in this uh, conversation. Uh, siguro, a final question ko na lang. Um, you've seen a lot of challenges throughout the years and even the pandemic, no? Um, and then you have yes. new new young people coming into the industry. Um, what's your advice to them um, for these people coming into the industry, uh, the food industry, and uh, most especially coming into the post-pandemic world? Kami. Uh, uh, Never give up. Focus. Follow your dreams. There will always be ups and downs. Always. Even in my case, at my age, I'm damning ups and downs. But um, it's always worth it. It's always worth it. Um, you mga ups and downs. Because even if it's down, there is always something to learn from. There is always a lesson. Maybe, like, okay, example. When you're too young, sometimes you can be too confident. You know, there was a time I accepted uh, two wedding cakes for a day. Isa morning wedding, isa evening reception. Pero, you know, after that, say ko, ayoko na. One wedding cake a day lang. Kasi dun ko na realize, hindi pwede. You cannot be too greedy. Sayang, oo, order din yan, but... You know, you have to also consider when you're pagod na, iba na ang labas ng piping mo sa piping bag. So these are things that you have to consider. Um, kailangan yung tama lang yung timing mo. Uh, kailangan wag naman sabay-sabay. Kasi pag sabay-sabay, ikaw ang sisingilin ng katawan mo eh. And that happened to me. Um... I got sick after that because talagang hindi pwede. And it had to happen for me to realize na talagang hindi pwede. So, go with... It's always learning experience. Never stop learning. It doesn't mean that you have to enroll in a school to learn. Hindi eh. By reading, you learn. By eating out, you also learn. Um, by talking to people, you also learn. And when you stop learning, that will be the start of your end. So, kailangan palaging ano tayo, yung go with the flow and enjoy the ride. Yeah. Very good. Very good. I have so many notes. Oh, Nancy, <laughs> go. Nancy. Okay. Wow, ang dami. Yeah, because uh, your 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 this interview is very helpful, um, and uh, it's it's actually I I I never realized Dorothy na ano you you had such gump na you know talk buying your own products and 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 talking yeah sort of nito you know gimmick I think your communications arts in Ateneo paid well but uh, the notes I took were number one parental support in developing the skills like you had when you were young mm -hmm. and giving yes. confidence to the children and it carries on eh, as you go as you develop these skills will not leave you they will just keep on improving and and i think it develops a the hunger to learn because sometimes yes oh, yeah. with the internet now because everything has an answer they don't want to learn anymore they google mo Iganito mo, uh -uh. YouTube mo. Yeah, yeah. Di ba? Ayaw na nilang yeah. go beyond the YouTube. Go, what, how did it relate to you? Yung mga ganon. Secondly, 
um, hands-on experience is really nice. Like, kinain mo yung keso. Kinas <laughs> 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 mo, oh. <laughs> diba? Ay, marami pang kwentong ganyan. Oo, di, di, marami. Di, 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 so, may bigyan pa si Alamero sa kusina help. Oo. Oh, diba? Dapat lang. Inassert mo sa sarili mo, eh. Diba? Tapos, um, your selling gimmick, I love that. Loving your own product. How can you sell something yes. you don't, that you make that you don't act like you don't love it? Nahi, yung iba kasi nahihiya eh. Ay, pasensya na kayo. Gawa ko lang to eh. Ay, ano? So, sorry ah. Gagawin mong mura. But you know, I'll see the way you do it. You're proud. And you know, exclusive ang ginagawa mo. Magaling ka. Magaling ka. And then, uh, you said teaching. <laughs> Thank you. Teaching, teaching, make it like a game for kids so that, you know, you, they will get interested. Oh. And also, like your experience with Maya Kitchen, when you were moving on, you left professionally. And you were very honest. And yes. you were very open to Miss Rory. And you know, naman Rory loves, he has, she has a, such a big heart. So you left a good mark. Correct. Diba? Even if you left, maybe oh, they yeah. can uh -oh. you once in a while for a special class. Diba? I was also a graduate yes. of my, Maya Kitchen. Uh, weren't we all? <laughs> yeah. And then you said um, the recipe. Dumaan sa Maya. Dumaan din tayo dito Sylvia Reynolds. So gala. Diba? Lahat. Lahat yan. So anyway, easy uh -oh. to do recipes are uh, something that they can pick up. Some maybe once in a while, some that are challenging. Um, I like that you said you have you want to learn more, and dapat wala kang takot whether you will win or, uh -uh. or you know lose face or you know. Yes. You learn. You always you always find something good in anything. And then uh, you said building blocks, building blocks as you go on. And then you are an inspiration yeah. because you find you found some people who were also your inspiration. And most important of all, you said, uh, ito, connecting, you were connecting with your viewers, your students. That's why they remember you. It, you went beyond the 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 and you adjust correct you adjusted to the time uh, yung iba hanggang sa cooking face to face lang eh nung nag pandemic or eh di si Dorothy yeah. nag video naging video queen <laughs> and then you said relevance has no age meaning the, you, can, you can relate to anything it doesn't it doesn't make you young or old Diba? You find relevance in things that you want to, to learn. I learned so many things from you, Dorothy. I am boy guesting here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's, uh, what's your bucket list? Oh, oh yes, yes. What's your bucket list? What is my Bucket list. bucket list. Bucket list. Yeah. I still want to do one last cookbook. My one last hurrah. Um, kaya lang nag-uurong sulong ako. Because, you know, I don't know with Anton, pero I'm sure Nancy, pareho tayong generation. Gusto natin hard box. Go, go, go. So, the recipes are just here in my laptop. It's just the execution of kung paano, uh, printed, hard copy pa rin ba? Or use um, the in medium right now, which is the internet, make it virtually dead with Miss Omai. In 2000 or 2009, we the first Philippines to do the 
hit na hit yung e-book sale. But maybe this time around, year 2022, back na yung project, di ba? Um, we'll see. But it's something that I would still like to do. Ang No, and one concept that I am thinking of, it's not just recipes in the cookbook. I would share experiences in the industry so that the others can learn from that experience. Um, oh. Marami kasi experience sa industry. Eh. Yeah. So that's one of the things I would love to do. I hope to be able to accomplish that within. You can do it. You That's can nice. do it and do it now. Now. <laughs> now. Project na yun eh. Pero, yeah, now that you're telling me, yes, I'll go back to it. Yes, galing, galing. Yeah. yeah, um I love the stories and uh yeah. and uh, that's one of the reason uh, we're doing this uh conversations no kasi nga mm-hmm. the younger generation needs to uh listen to this story. I- I'm sure konti pa lang yung na share mo during this conversation. No? It's already one hour. So uh, a book about those experiences would be really Ayun ang dalawa ora. Yeah. All right. Um, marami salamat. Uh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you. I love Dorothy. you, Dorothy. I said, I love you, Dorothy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Nancy. And thank you, Anton. Anton, I think I have not met you personally, but yeah. one to meet you. Yes, uh, one of these days. All right, uh, marami salamat. Thank you for all the and uh, loving fans ni Chef uh, ni Dorothy oh. Peredia. And uh, please like and share this video. Share it with your family and friends. Enjoyed my morning with all of you. Yes. Do the uh, Linda it, cake. Linda oh. cake. Linda cake. Linda yeah. cake. Yeah. I'll send you the photos the... of the yes. yes. Private message para maintindihan mo ang itsura niya. Okay. Oh, oh yes, yes. Thank you right. very much. Marami salamat. Uh, thank you all. Uh, live an awesome life. And uh, God is always good. Okay. Amen. Uh, can you do a short video?